Hi there, this is Megan with Left and Knots, and today I'm going to show you how to surface slip stitch on your crochet projects. This is a technique that can be used to add just a little bit of an extra embellishment to your projects. Um, it makes a really cool effect, and it's super simple to do. So what you're going to start with, what I have here is just a single crochet swatch. Um, in your case, it would be whatever project that you're surface slip stitching on. It doesn't really matter which type of stitches you slip stitch over. Um, this happens to be single crochet, but it really works over anything. So what I'm going to do, you can surface slip stitch along your rows, parallel to your rows, or you can surface slip stitch perpendicular to your rows, and I'll show you how to do both. First, we'll start with parallel. I'm going to insert my hook into a space between my stitches. So you can see that little gap there. And then leaving a tail long enough to weave in, I'm going to put my yarn over my hook, pull it up like you're pulling up a loop. Now I'm going to move into that next space between my next two stitches of that row. Insert my hook, yarn over, and pull through just like you would a normal slip stitch. Same thing into that next space right there. Insert my hook, yarn over, and pull through. So you can see as I go through a few more, that it makes this really neat slip stitch effect on the surface of your piece. And the back side of it, this is technically the right side, and then the back side of it also looks really neat. It's just that little line there. So it's really great for adding little extra embellishments. Um, I've used it in a few of my stuff and spill patterns. Um, in my stuff and spill fishbowl to make little seaweed for my fishbowl and in my stuff and spill backpack to make lined notebook paper. Um, but I've also seen it used on dishcloths and purse straps. So it's just a fun way to add just a little extra something to your piece. And so that's what it looks like parallel to your rows. Now I'm going to cut this off and show you what it would look like perpendicular. So, depending on how you want yours to end, you can either tie off your yarn this way around the outside edge of your piece, or if you don't want that part to show, you can stop one stitch early and then pull it through like that, and then you'd weave this tail in on the back side of your piece. So depending on your project, you can make that decision. Now working perpendicular to your rows is just a tiny bit different. Um, it's a little easier to find your spaces when you're working parallel to your rows because there's those nice obvious gaps. Um, when you're working perpendicular to your rows, you just really want to make sure you're trying to stay in a straight line. So same technique, you insert your hook, leave a tail long enough to weave in, and so now I'm working this way, and you can see if you pull your fabric apart a little bit, you'll still see those gaps, and you just want to make sure you're working in a straight line or whatever direction you want to be working. Um, like I said, for my stuff and spill fishbowl pattern, I made seaweed, so I made it, you know, squiggle all around. But you just look for those spaces that will then give you a nice straight line. The other thing that's important to keep in mind with surface slip stitching is your tension. You wanna keep those stitches nice and even. You can see that one maybe got a little bit loose there. Um, variations in tension will be pretty obvious on your surface slip stitches if you um, are not consistent. 
So I'll finish this up so you can see what it looks like. I'm just selecting the next gap that keeps me in a straight line. I think I've seen some plaid blankets use this technique too. So it's really something that you can use on a lot of different pieces. So again, I can either pull my yarn through here and tie it off that way, or I'll snip it, pull it through this way, and then you can just pull your tails into the other side and weave them in there. So that's the front side, that's the back side, both. Are really cool looking um, and it's just a great way to add something extra to your piece. I hope you found this helpful. For more free patterns and tutorials visit my blog www.leftednots.com.